I actually had come to the point in my life, my son had graduated high school. I felt like I was a single guy who really didn't have anything to keep me to stay in Colorado. So I felt like I was a pretty good poker player and I moved to Las Vegas, Nevada to play poker professionally. I'm playing poker at a table and a guy just, we start chatting, we're having a good time, and he says, you need to come to my church. And I was like, what? Like, I'm in a poker table in a Las Vegas casino, and this guy's talking to me to come to his church. I was kind of taken back by it. And he said, I'll tell you what, tomorrow is our, our, my favorite night of the month. It's called um, First Wednesday. Come show up. You'll be surprised. I showed up at this place by myself. No one else was around. I looked for him, never saw him again the rest of my life. I, I go inside, and the, the best part about it was they were going into 40 days of service. And I was like, this huge church, and all these people are going, and they're all going to do 40 days of service? This is something unusual. The last guy comes out, got Birkenstocks on. He's kind of a young pastor looking dude, and he goes, you know, I don't know where you're at in your life. I don't know if you're questioning what's going on. I don't even know if you believe in God or if you do believe in God. It doesn't matter. I just asked one thing, keep coming back. So I went back Sunday. I, I kind of hung out after church and I said, hey, can I help out some way? And they were like, well, come up here next Saturday. We're gonna make sandwiches for the homeless and we'll go out and give people sandwiches. And I said, well, that sounds like something, that sounds like something servicey. I come up there Saturday with some great people, women, men, even children, and, and we're making sandwiches and we go out and start going to these camps of homeless people. There are a lot in Las Vegas, as you can imagine, and we, we start giving them sandwiches and we invite them to church the next day. I just felt drawn to be a part of that ministry, even though I wasn't even a Christian yet. Um, as the weeks went by, though, I remember that the song that they were singing was, You Are My God. And I, I know I very rarely raise my hands, but I started raising my hands and realizing that he was my God. And that was the point where everything changed for me. And I needed to know who God was and what God was about. And an altar call, I went up and I said, what do I do next? And they said, well, if you believe, you need to get baptized. And I was like, okay. So I got to be baptized by Gene Apple, which was, I think is pretty cool. I come out of the thing, I start drying off, and I go to the guy that's there, he says, well, what's next? And he was like, okay, you need to, you need to go to First Steps, which was their seven week long process. And I went through the seven weeks, and I was always the obnoxious one because they gave us memory verses every week. And every week it was like, who knows the verse? And God having allowed me to be forgiven, I was able to forgive other people and start loving again. And that's when I found my beautiful wife, Maria. Um, when we first met, she was in the Catholic church and I was going to Central Christian and we kind of agreed to, I would go to the Catholic catechism for adults and she would go to the first steps with me. I was able to go five or six weeks to the catechism before they kicked me out um, because I asked too many questions. So my favorite part was about that is I went through first steps again with my wife. And at the very last week, they actually asked, if you've, ever, if you've never had a personal relationship with Christ, ask Christ to knock on your heart right now and open, I want you to open a door and, and um, invite him in. And they said the prayer. and. And then they said, if you've done that right now, please raise your hand. And I had to look and Maria raised her hand and I was just insanely happy. A couple weeks later we were talking and she started talking about wanting to get baptized. And it was honestly my honor to actually baptize my wife. Our life just seemed to always get better. Like, like we were blessed like immediately with, with Caitlin, like, we were thinking we were probably going to be waiting a while, um, but that wasn't God's plan, and God's plan is better than our plan, so...
you have no idea what a blessing she has been to me. She is absolutely perfect for a 16-year-old teenage girl, as that can go. Uh, we, had a, we had an amazing church family in Arkansas. I was a pastor there. My wife got the move to Ohio, and I was hoping that, that I would find a church up here to, to help out in. I'm an online looker. I started studying the um, messages here and the, what was going on in this church, and, and I felt like this was a place that we could be a part of. Um, we came the first week, and Caitlin just absolutely loved the, the young ladies group that she joined. Um, they were very inviting to her. She was excited to come to church again, which was something that I always love. God's, God's brought me to this point for a reason. I think that um, he's asking me to be a part of this church. I'm excited to be a part of this church. He's asked my family to be a part of this church, and we're excited about that as well. Um, I don't think that it was by accident that we ended up here.